Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. This is a screencast to demonstrate a slider gallery as seen on the Apple website. So you want to create a, a, a nice little kind of handle to slide back and forth between your, your items that you sell on your website or you know your, your picture gallery or whatever. So Apple have come up with a nice smooth way of doing this and I'm going to show you how to recreate this effect using jQuery. So here's my uh, my HTML already. I've pinched some of the images from well, all the images from Apple's sl product slider. I've put all the images inside of a UL, which you can see is very wide. 2000 pixels. So the effect we want to have is when I click and move left and right this UL shifts left and right as appropriate um, creating the slide effect. I also want to be able to click on these little points here inside of the slider to jump to a specific point of my products. So let's have a quick look at the markup. Pretty straightforward. The div contains it all. A UL of all our items. We have a div for the actual slider you know, slide area, so this bit. A div for our handle, so this thing here. And if you want, you can also put labels in. So here we've got four labels that allows me to jump to a specific position inside of the slider. So I've got my my CSS is using an overflow on my contain on my slider gallery div. So you can see overflow hidden here. And inside of the the actual slider, these spans have got left aligns on them, uh, left positions on them, so they're they're placed you know in the right place so that the user knows where to click. Um, an important feature about the way I've marked up the CSS on the UL is I've used white space no wrap. This means I don't need to know the full width of this of this UL inside my code um, or inside my CSS. I can just use no wrap and it will all appear on one line so I can slide back and forth using the, the handle. If you want to make the LI as a specific width you will need to set up a, sp a specific width on a UL as well that way you can use a float on your LI elements and make it as good looking as you want but for this example no no wrap suits me fine so we need to include a bunch of a uh, script uh, well jQuery for one so let's plug that in we also need um, the jQuery dimensions Plugin. I think that's right. Oop. This is because I use. I need to find out the inner width of this this UL later on in the code. Um, I'll show you why I need that in a, in a moment. We need the UI dot mouse dot JS. That comes with the UI zip file that you can get from jQuery and we're using slider.js so if you go to ui.jquery.com you can download the uh, the, the UI J, jQuery UI zip file it contains lots of little widgets and we're interested in uh, the slider widget which needs mouse to be loaded to work properly so I'm just going to check I've loaded those in pro uh, correctly yeah. Okay, <clears throat> onto our code. Dollar function, same as a uh, document dot ready. Because I'm lazy, I like it nice and short. And the tasks we need to do, uh, the, the jobs we need to do are grab this UL and find its find its width. We need to add the slider plugin into uh, this div 
specify the handle that we want to slide back and forth on and we need to create some callbacks to say when I slide left or right or when I slide move the position of the uh, the UL within this div so uh, var container By passing in container here, I'm saying that this is the context in which to search for this UL. So it's saying within this block, find the UL. And since I know there's only going to be one, it, it works fine for me. Right. Items width is UL dot inner width. And this is this plugin is taken, this function is taken from dimensions. I need to subtract the container outer width. What this gives me is the total width of the UL minus this width, which means that if you look at the Apple website, 